Hello everybody, thank you for joining us. Um, relatively on time uh, today, so it's been a couple of weeks, I think we've all been a little busy and whatnot. We um, thought this would be a good, um, well I say we, Shin came up with this idea, we asked him to get his notebook out of possible um, topics and this came to the forefront, so um, cheers for that dude and uh, Amanda James and Tiffany's here as well. So, um, yeah, just, um, this is one of those kind of fucking pointless hypothetical discussions. I said pointless because it's just a bit of fun in it, but it's, it's fun to speculate about because it's like the people always talk about the scenario of what if Kayla was real, which is ridiculous. It's like saying if Pinocchio was real, you know, but in this scenario, it's interesting because the, the chances of statistics, statistically speaking, the chances that Lorne got done, if you were going to try and work it out, which, you know, it's pretty unlikely that you, you're going to end up hitting on a decoy and end up getting on NBC, which is kind of what enraged him in the first place, isn't it? Um, so, yeah. what? Why did this uh, interest, Pete, your interest, this particular topic, dude? Uh, first of all, I think you're right. I think uh, when it comes to getting on the show itself it's almost like a lottery win right i mean the odds of that happening first yeah, of all astronomical you know, yeah and 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 they catch him at a uh at his best you know let's just face it he was he was great but i i think that another thing is that i think we we all have a, a tendency to define him uh as the guy on tcap when he's just as bad, even if he wasn't on TCAP. He'd still be that creep, that that child predator, that, that same guy. And 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 so it's not like TCAP didn't bring something out that was already there, that wasn't there already. So I, I think that I think it would be interesting to to kind of speculate about what would have happened if he didn't get caught, you know, and ask ourselves some questions, you know, like uh would he have eventually gotten caught doing something, you know, things like that. Um, because I think he would. I think uh he's stupid. Uh, he doesn't cover his tracks at all. Uh, he, he tries. He thinks he's smarter than the next guy. And I think all these characteristics kind of are overshadowed by the, just the TCAP uh, experience that he has, you know? So that's what I was thinking. And it's fun. I have to agree. Um, I think that he would have been caught eventually because there was nothing about him that was stopping him from doing what he was doing. I think that there were many other girls that were before Kayla, just like with, with Kimmy, Kimmy and Disney girl, they were just other examples of, of girls that he would have been going after in the exact same way. So it would have just been a matter of time before he ran into not necessarily just NBC, but perverted justice was out there, even just as a, as a decoy group. And then also you have the other groups that came after. When did um, the Yahoo chat room shut down? Do you know? I, I don't think I don't know if it was necessarily shut down. I think it was just replaced by a lot of things, a little more fine things, uh, different okay. technologies, different software. Yeah, I don't know. I, I really don't know, but it was it was the main place to go. But let's hold the phone for a second. Uh, Shoe nice deleted videos. Anybody see that? What he just wrote here. Enlighten us, Shen. I have been told that Lauren has an actual human girlfriend. They were recently observed in the tractor supply company by a friend of mine. They were holding hands. What the fuck? Oh, you. We definitely want to know more about that, right? Sure. Oh. What what else do you know about that, uh, Shoe Nice? Yeah, please enlighten us as to the validity of that. We need to know more details. I mean, that would be worthy of not only a stream, but I'll probably take a week off work. And also, I would take a flight to America and investigate this personally and drag Shin there with me as well. So <laughs> This this shall not stand. It's like, oh, my God. Yeah, don't, you better not be fucking with us. What lornographer oh. happened to be at the tractor supply store in Skowhegan, Maine, and and saw Lorne there? That's I'd be interested to know how many. Oh. Well, it doesn't actually surprise me. There's plenty of us weirdos out there. Um, 
<laughs> you know, I'm de- I'm definitely in the top five for having travelled to another continent to see Lorne. I've never even know that. Like, I'm just sat here shaking my head, thinking, "Hang on a minute, did that really happen?" <laughs> but I can always cling to this thing of I went there to see my very good friend Shins Koala. We had a beautiful romantic time together, didn't we? So that's yeah, what did. I did it for. Lots yeah. of moonlight. Yeah. Oh, you yes. wore matching outfits and you worked out. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. That's, very, that's totally true. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, we, um, we we sweat together. Yes, absolutely. But you know, um, I I would you you. Um, thanks for checking that out, Shin, because that is like um, breaking news. It's it's, it's like, yeah. I think that it's I don't, it's almost. I was just watching a um, UFO documentary earlier because I'm really into that kind of stuff. It was about the Bob Lazar thing, and I was I'm trying to get Tiffany to fucking watch the. Rogan thing, but you will do it. anyway. Never mind that. But um, yeah, eventually. Yeah, yeah. So um, this is as groundbreaking as that. This is like a UFO has been recovered and they're working on it in Area Fifty One. I'm like, okay, that's huge, that's significant. But this is bigger. This is fucking bigger than that, as far as I'm concerned. Well, what questions do you? So have? what you're wait. So what yeah, you're sorry. saying is it must be an alien. I, w- I oh. didn't actually make that link until you just said it. I was kind of going off the <laughs> total grandiose nature of the revelation and how how much it's going to change humankind. You know, sure. I'm kinda, I kind of I kind of think long getting a girlfriend is is more important than back engine alien alien back engineering alien technology. In my opinion, it's like we've got to <laughs> ask ourselves a whole host of questions about humanity if long's got an actual girlfriend. <laughs> Where are we going as a species? A is there any hope for us? It could be an Amanda James setup. You've paid somebody to fuck with Lorne because I know how much you hate him. I know you wouldn't spend any money on this motherfucker, but I'm not writing no. you out of this scenario. Not that you're the girlfriend, of course. Well, I would never insult you by suggesting that. I am not. Oh, I bet you Amanda's <laughs> seen not. Right <laughs> There was a volunteer for this mission, though. So it might not be a, uh, an alien. It might just be a Canadian because the... The Canadian couple who went to visit him, Mm -hmm. they um, said that that was their plan. She wanted to go somewhere with public and Lauren with Lauren and hold his hand to try. I remember that. Yeah, I remember that. And he has a girl. Blue Boy put a kibosh on that, though. I thought, you know, maybe I don't know. Yeah, maybe she missed him and went back. Well, how long ago was that, um, uh, Shuey, that this person was seen? Was it recently, or was it during the Casey saga? See, you know, you that, started that'd be... now, dude. We need this information. Talking to the guy in the chat, not you, by the way. Yeah, um, yeah, I know. Um... Well, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll crack on with our chosen subject. Any more information that we can get about this is obviously going to... I'm already looking at my online balance on my... Just seeing if I could buy <laughs> a ticket. Coming. So, <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> like, oh, Manchester to Boston, Boston to Maine. Yeah, I can do it. I can do it. Um, so yeah, that, that would bring a whole host of, um, potentialities there. So, um, yeah. Um, but with regard to, um, the subject at hand, um, so I suppose we've got to ask ourselves, right, this is the way I see it. Lawn, there's one thing we can all agree on. Just think at the moment Lawn starts talking to those decoys, he's hit on Three of them that were aware of, Kayla and the other two, the Disney girl and Kimmy. Mm-hmm. He wouldn't have stopped. So let's say that let's just take NBC, because this is a this is a parallel universe kind of situation here, if NBC hadn't gotten involved. So Lon's going in these chat rooms and there's no decoys there. He's gonna be hitting on regular girls, but that's uh, that's hard. I don't think Lon would have got anywhere with real girls in that scenario. In my opinion, but he did. He did that. He has. He did. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I've just kind of contradicted myself there, haven't I? But what? Um. How can I put it? That. I suppose what the MySpace girl. Have we been able to verify exactly how they met? Because I don't trust the word that motherfucker comes out with. Obviously, why would you? Well, where where do you think that they met? If you don't believe that they met in a uh, country music chat room where he's singing his heart out where do you think that they met well my bet would be the same you know like a 
the same place he met Kayla. You know, he's not right. going to be... It's He's going to be seeking them out, isn't he? He's not the kind of, oh, I needed to protect the bullshit, as we all know. So I no, suppose what I'm saying is at that point, you know, he's going he's gonna to go everywhere. He's going to go in country music chat rooms. He probably has gone in country music chat rooms looking for young girls before, and that's probably why he fucking says that, isn't it? Well, I think that Lauren singing is what he considers to be his strong suit. It's what he can get you wrapped in. Because remember when he was talking to Kayla even, there's a lull in the conversation. And he says, okay, sing to me. Because he <laughs> wants to sing. He wants to do the singing. Um, so <laughs> so I think that that's what he, he thinks he can he can get people interested. You know, he, he puts a lot of, lot of stock in his singing ability. Not just... Yeah, but, karaoke, you know, but also just doing his, that's kind of what's going to separate him and make him special and attractive. He did And that's you. why he was there. He wasn't singing for the men. No, no, of course not. Chat room. He was yeah. looking for girls. He was singing yeah, that... for the hardware, for the trophies, for the awards. <laughs> the <laughs> trophies. That, that is funny. Can you believe it? That he has those trophies? Oh my God. <laughs> I'm That's like getting getting something from a spelling bee and putting it in your trophy case with all of your prized possessions. I know. That's Weird. So yeah. Um, so I suppose what I was getting at was I don't uh, I wasn't able to articulate is Lorne can't attract a girl of the caliber of what Kayla was. He MySpace girl was vulnerable, you know, come from a difficult background. Lorne, that's all Lorne really can do. So, in that situation, if NBC, or should I say Perverted Justice, weren't, you know, trying to get people like Lorne, Lorne would have just continued, maybe come across another Molly-type situation. Uh, so, really, I suppose what we're going to ask ourselves is, would he have been caught in some other sting, or, you know, been had his balls chopped off by somebody's parents? You know what I mean? I mean, this is all speculation, obviously. It's just... <laughs> yeah, I think yeah, something could have, worse so. could have happened to him, definitely. <clears throat> you know, I mean, it, it takes an angry father or something. He could have run into that. Uh, yeah, I mean, that would have been his worst, the worst case scenario, getting beaten up. Uh, within an inch of his life and then then being put in prison. You know, that that could have been worse. What could have but, happened? Sorry, dude. I believe what could have okay. happened is he could have been scared away because Lon's a coward. So if he would have had a close shave, no pun intended, with um, one of these people, one of these, you know, girls, like somebody got wind of it and threatened Lon, I'm not too sure he'd have been too keen to do it again, which means he would have altered alter his tactics. I think he would have. I think that's I, do, I do too. Happened. Because I think that there would be an initial scare. Um, but look at somebody like John Canelli, and he showed up the next day. Now I think that's obviously a unique situation where there wasn't a big turnaround, and um, in being afraid. But think about it: if you he was just getting something to eat, can you give the guy a break? <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> right, he just happened to be there exactly. Um, but think about it if you almost get into a car accident and that might be scary and you may have at that time, maybe you weren't paying attention or you're driving too fast or something. Um, but that type of a scare can make you think, okay, I need to be more careful. So you'll be more careful for a little while, but ultimately you're going to start to go back into the same behavior again. Um, I think that with Lauren, he felt very safe on the internet that was that was his safe place because he could just turn it off if if something came about where the where there was a decoy because that's what perverted justice would do they would start talking to them and then eventually they'd say hey just so you know this is who you're really talking to um so i think that that type of a situation he would just turn it off but then he would go back again and, and he would change his tactic maybe a little bit. Maybe he would be a little bit more skeptical 
right off the bat. But and also, you always say, don't you, Tiffany, that um, he always thinks he's one step ahead. He does. He absolutely does. That's where all of his his planning shit comes from. You know, all the checking, like, okay, make sure that you call Jesse or Maria so that my phone number is not the last one. You know, he's thinking, he's thinking of all the things, you know, where do I need to park? So I'm not seen where are your neighbors going to be? Are your parents, where are your parents going? Like he didn't care where they were going. Obviously he wanted to know how far away they were going to be. Is it something where they could happen to stop back in, um, at any moment? So he needed to know all that kind of stuff. And so he, he is thinking about all of the ways that he could get busted and he's going to come up with some really stupid, um, idea of how that's not going to happen. It's just like his explanation for having the camera. He didn't have the camera to pawn it. It could have been something that he would have been willing to do, but that wasn't the purpose of it being in his truck at that moment. It was to bring it with him in order to do what he was going to do. I think you're right, Tiffany. I, I think he uh, he did revise his tactics by all of these countermeasures that he was asking Kayla to do, delete the archives, call somebody else first, so my number isn't the last one. I'm wondering if that happened to him before, whether a father called and said, who is this? You know, and, and then he hung up and, like you said, ran away. And so to avoid that, I mean, how would you think of that unless you're doing things like that? Yeah, of course. Of course. Yeah. He's, he's, he's doing his scheming like he does with everything. Um, he's scheming to try to figure out how do I get what I want that other people won't like? How can I do that without them knowing? So that's, you know, those are all the things that he did. And just like, even when he's talking about meeting Molly, now I know that we don't know a lot about that situation. We don't know most of it. We just know some some very, very skeleton type facts of, of that matter. But, you know, even with that, he he was talking about the ways that he was avoiding detection at that time, too. You know, um, his plan of bringing Tony now, whether or not that actually happened, I'm um, unsure. I'm unsure. But, um, you know, his plan of bringing Tony was so that it wouldn't be so strange maybe that he was there by himself. He had another person with him that could be kind of like a buffer um, if he were to get caught because he was worried about that. So he, he does all of those types of things just to kind of make sure. Now, I don't know if he's ever had a close call. Um, he's never mentioned that before. He did talk about his niece talking to somebody who was just like him on the internet and how he got all upset and he was, you know, she started crying and everything like that. And he told this guy, you know, to fuck off who, again, who knows if that really happened, but for him, solving that problem was getting offline. So solving the problem with, with Lauren at that time in his dingy apartment, naked in front of his computer, he felt safe there. He didn't think that they could actually come to him. His problem with what he did was that he went to go and meet her. He's even said, I can talk on the computer all day. But my mm -hmm. problem came when I actually tried to go and meet her. I shouldn't have done that. So everything else before then was okay. So that would yeah. have been, yeah, go ahead. I, I agree. I think he felt very safe doing all the online stuff he he seems to think that's not a crime in and of itself um all the planning came in and making sure they didn't get caught i you know by her parents or whatever the delete your archives and all that i think that had to do with the plan to go to the house he didn't want her parents to intercept their messages and fuck up their their plans to meet he thought he could just turn his computer off and you know he's anonymous on the internet and nobody's nobody's gonna do anything to him or even if they do you know he's not gonna get in any trouble for it he was just talking it's just talking yeah and even with him wanting to break up over yahoo in case the yahoo police were watching mm -hmm. i forgot about that <laughs> yeah <laughs> genius over here wants to just skip over to another um another format but you know, he's thinking, well, that can't be traced, so I'll be fine there. Yeah, so um, 
Hmm. So, I mean, it's kind of difficult because, like I said, we're just speculating. But I suppose if we look at it from... What would he have continued to do at that point in his life? He would have been moving from shitty job to shitty job, avoiding creditors. Um, you know, the better situation was hanging over him. But what did he do? He just moved. So he would have been just carrying on that kind of dysfunctional life. It would have, would have been interesting to see, you know, what would have um, what would have actually happened really to him. Would he have... Hmm. Would he have actually got another victim, a real victim, another Molly? I think so. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, he was. He was. He was throwing his net out. Right. That's what he was looking for. Yeah, I think he would have eventually found another target and tried to turn her into his teenage girlfriend, and things would have escalated. And to the point where they did meet and something horrible happened and, you know, maybe he'd get away with it, um, you know, a number of times, once or twice or something. But eventually, these are teenage girls. They're going to, the likelihood that they're going to tell somebody, they're going to tell a friend who's going to then tell a teacher or a, an adult, like, hey, my friend says she has a 30 or a 37 year old boyfriend and I'm concerned about it. So the chances that he would have gotten caught for committing an even worse crime, I think, is really likely. Mm-hmm. Um, also, just like to say, Kathy Mack has made a really good point in the chat and said that um, they think that uh, Lorne would have still been the victim of many catfishes online. Now, that's <laughs> so true. Because, no, but if you think yes. about the Amanda James situation... That was before any of this, like, and we were all like, I remember when I was watching that footage from the first time, I remember watching Bay Sherman's reaction when he was going, who the fuck is Amanda James? It's like, (laughs) we were like, it was like quite revelationary that it was, um, Lorne, and this is something that goes in tandem to what we're talking about, Lorne's lack of intelligence is fucking just gobsmacking, it's, it, deserves to be studied at a quantum level you know i'm pretty sure we can learn a lot about our species um but like if you think about that period in time like 2006 was it six or seven but anyway um like online scams were just starting to come to the forefront because the internet was just starting to become established in people's daily lives. It was just, which is bizarre because Lon still hasn't cottoned on to that. That internet will never take off. That's his take. But, um, yeah, he would have been continued to be scammed and taken advantage of by, I mean, it still happens now, you know, with that fucking, what was that email scam he fell for? Amanda James. Which what one? Which one? <laughs> which one? <laughs> well, just tell me about All the most hilarious one. Oh, uh, there was one, he was looking for a job on online and he got an email, um, that was offering him a job that he had not applied for. And it was (laughs) the title of the job (laughs) is a property consultant. And he, I can't remember the details. They all kind of meshed together in my mind because there were several scams at the same time, but it was something like he he had this very vague um, these very vague job duties that included like googling properties in Maine and and learning about them. And his conclusion was that uh, some places cost more than other places depending on the location in Maine. And for that job, he was offered four thousand dollars a month, and the company was out of Italy. That, that's the one that had to do with the mayor of Italy. Um, right. <laughs> and he never got paid for it, of course. And he was furious that he, he he's like, well, they owe me $8,000. No, I've been working <laughs> two months. <laughs> and I think that was the one where they would send him checks. They'd send him bad checks and say, okay, cash this check. And then you, you take your portion of it and then send the rest of it on to so-and-so. 
So okay, so that's what they're getting out of him. I couldn't figure yeah. out what they were getting out of him. Yeah, I right, was wondering that. Right. But the checks were bad, of course, so he couldn't cash them <clears throat> or deposit them. And he kept trying. And um, he'd go to a different bank. <laughs> if, it, like the, the, the first bank <laughs> didn't accept the first two or whatever. So he'd go to another bank and try to try to cash it there. <clears throat> and um, yeah, he, they kept telling him, Lauren, these are bad checks. We can't we can't cash this. Don't. And he's lucky that they did that. Yeah. I you know. know, because he he would have been in the hole for whatever, for four thousand dollars, however much that check was, they he would have been in the hole for it because obviously it wasn't gonna. Well, I, I don't think so. Well, you remember that if you put in a check like that, chances are they only allow a certain amount to be available depending upon your account balance. And since it's negative oh, ten thousand sure. dollars, <laughs> yeah, I don't think he'd ever it would ever clear. So, but. <laughs> <laughs> then there was the loan he applied for. He applied for like a ten or fifteen thousand dollar loan, and he got no loan. But he ended up spending, God, I think like three thousand dollars to try to get that money. They kept telling him, oh. you, "You've got to pay this fee. You've got to pay this fee now. Just give us a thousand dollars, and we'll get it in the works." And um, yeah. if you want the money by Monday, you've got to pay the weekend tax. You've got a six hundred dollar weekend tax, but then you'll you'll get your funds on Monday, and and he paid it. It's such a classic scam, you know <laughs> that that most people would see a mile away, even ten ten thousand miles away, you would see that coming and be like, yeah, okay, I'm not spending money to get money, but yeah, right. you know he doesn't see that. Oh, I just have to pay six hundred dollars and I'll get however many thousand yeah sure that's a small price to pay but there is no price to pay when it's legit yeah that was the yeah, power i'm wondering wrote to the <laughs> right right that's well, yeah, probation that's is amazing. monitoring is is activity right so yeah I'm, i wonder if they see this and just laugh their asses off you know instead of trying I, to protect them yes. i think they no they think they did try i don't know about with the scam but with the job the property consultant job. I think they did try to um, to tell him, Lauren, that that's a scam. That's not a real job. And he fought them. He fought with them about it. And because he was oh, probably gosh. telling, he was probably reporting that as his job, right? Right. <laughs> yeah. Property, yeah. Property, yeah. property consultant. A property consultant of a multi-billion-pound uh, company in Italy. That's my job. Like, yeah, dude. Here <laughs> we go again. I, how, how about the idea that somebody who has property that looks like his is offered a job to be a property consultant? Doesn't that <laughs> right. Kind of flies right away? Yeah, Absolutely. Yeah. That's probably what tipped them off right away. They're like, yeah. Lauren, you don't know anything it, it's about just like, these things. It's, it's like making him a like, fucking photographer for models, you know, sort of model shoots. It's like, no, she would really have this guy doing that. Probably not. Yeah, right. And he didn't yeah. apply for the job. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. The, that's the, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Yeah, they just found funny. him and thought I'm, he was so qualified to be a property I, I, consultant. I, 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 I think all these scammers have their. I, I think all these scammers have their own list. You know how you have, uh, uh, you know, companies buy lists, uh, you know, of individuals and things like that. They can send uh, commercials off to, you know, spam off to. I wonder if they, these these all these scam companies like have their own list together where they have easy marks. You know, it's yeah. Kind of yeah, he's got a star you know? next to his name on that. List. Yeah, he he would have to. The yeah. funny thing is, star he's, in, he's not even allowed in certain locations or certain properties because of his so conditions. It's like, oh, I can't I can't check that property out? It's near a school. It's like I'm not sure this guy's he's very a scammer's good at dream. He, he's yeah. a scammer's. Even if he doesn't have money, he will find it. He will he will somehow get a loan for it. He's a scammer's dream. Yeah. it's like you know there's in that list he's probably got a zero next to a dollar sign he's got no money but that's okay he'll get 600 percent loans to get to he's get got that. a little note next to his name that says not only can you get his money he will send you poems thanking you for taking his money <laughs> yeah he's not he's not gonna go away he'll he'll stay on the hook for as long as you want that's right him. he's patient enough where even if you drag it out he's still gonna stick with you to give you yeah. his money 
I think we've established that loan is a scammer's dream. He's the reason these scammers exist because people like us can look at this and go, it's just, you're just in bewilderment. Your eyes just tighten and you, you're thinking, hang on a minute, how can people fall for this? But people do. And you, you never cease to be. It's like the, the uh, when a lot of um, lonely kind of people get done by dating scammers, you know. You can kind of understand that because people are very lonely and whatnot and they can be overcome, but you know, by the loneliness like that happens to long to some degree. But with these, you just you're just thinking, are people that dumb? And you can't quite comprehend it. But yes, there's, they're in their droves, mm -hmm. and Lon is the perfect yeah, but, one. Yeah, but usually he... they're they're senile, old, you know, uh, easily manipulated because of their age, you know, or or some kind of a deficiency or anything like that. You know, this well, guy's I think like. Too. I think to hear that they're, that they're very desperate. So even you can get somebody who isn't technically stupid, I guess, you know, that we would consider Lauren to be, but somebody who is so desperate maybe for money that they right. don't want to pass on the opportunity. You know, what if this is real? What if, because, because sometimes the scams can be a little bit more sophisticated. I know somebody who got scammed by receiving a Facebook message that had the same name of somebody that they knew. So right. even though she fell for it and it was, it was, you know, pretty obvious when, you know, she's telling me all this, but she, she was doing the same thing um, that Lauren would do as far as fighting against people telling you that this isn't real. Stop doing that. You know, don't send them any money, but they're so desperate for this big payday. That's going to come at the end of it that they're really, really hoping that it's it's going to be true. And I think that's where a lot of the, you know, the um, ignoring of the red flags comes because I'm sure they can look back on the situation after it's said and done and say, oh, my God, does, that was really stupid. I, but, I think part, of what, part of what makes him vulnerable is he's extremely uh, self-absorbed about himself. He never asked that question. You know, if somebody offers this fantastic job out of nowhere, he never asked that question. Why me? Because no. he thinks he deserves yeah. it. He's delusional. He thinks people like me get these opportunities, you know? Yeah. He doesn't think that he's a loser. He doesn't think that he's a he's a he's a mark for these guys. Right. You and know, he, and that's it's doesn't kind even... of the same thing of where they, you know, he where he's talking about how he got this card from a producer in Nashville from singing karaoke. That? Yeah, and, and he would be the he's would be the guy um who would call this producer up. And, you know, the, the producer would, would give him a price because it, it's going to cost you money if you want to make a demo and stuff. But, you know, think of all the, all the great things that are going to happen after you do and you make it big. Like he is exactly what, um, what those type of people are looking for. It's just the same thing. I don't know if they still do this, but you, you know, might there be would right. Be, there yeah. would be guys walking around malls looking for girls and say, oh, I can yeah. take photos of you. But it's, you mm -hmm. know, and then there's a bill attached to it that, yeah, you, you know, to pay for know. your portfolio. Yeah, right. Yeah, exactly. It's the same thing. What better place to find uh, somebody to buy studio time and uh, than somebody who's so full of himself and thinks he's so good, good than at a karaoke bar. And there's always going to be people who are take themselves too seriously there. Yeah. And they're the marks. Oh my gosh. It's exactly the same as because people, anybody would, would think to themselves, why would the actress from this thing, the beautiful actress from this thing who caught right. me and put me in prison want to be in a relationship with me? Why mm -hmm. would this beautiful young model porn star that could have <laughs> literally any man in the world, why would she want me? Why would any of even Winnie? Why would Winnie want Lauren? Mm -hmm. I mean, Winnie's kind of a despicable person, but <laughs> still, Lauren. Lauren is at the at the bottom tier, on the on the on the totem Ooh, pole. Oh, out! You know, the out! Still be so cruel. <clears throat> well, and again, the key thing is he thinks he's the opposite. Right. Well, the, I just to ask himself that. I just saw a comment from Strayski that says, surprised he hasn't fallen for an MLM yet. <laughs> Could you imagine the MLM he cycle would, yeah. he would he, fall in? Yes, he I think he absolutely would if he was allowed on Facebook. 
I would love to see uh, more yeah, on Facebook. Facebook. would be a big thing. Sorry, I, I didn't understand using... what you said then. Fall for a what, sorry? Multi-level oh, uh, marketing. Like, like Amway. Uh, you know, like multi-level marketing. It's basically a pyramid scheme. Oh, um, right. Okay. Lauren, Lauren would fill up his uh, his shed with uh, Amway products. Absolutely, he would. Yeah, <laughs> but that's that's another Perishable. thing that that's another thing that would be different if TCAP hadn't happened. He would be on all these social media sites, and he would be doing his get rich quick schemes with the MLMs and and yeah. all of that. Yeah, do you know that's that's really interesting. That if you think about. What would have happened if Lorne hadn't been caught? He'd have still been trying it on with these girls. He'd have been going from shit job to shit job, maybe having to move, um, scammed a couple of times. He would have started getting into social media. So he already had a MySpace page, so he would have got a Facebook page. Um, what, like, because I remember it when Instagram. I first got... Yeah, yeah I remember I when I first yeah. got Facebook and I was younger, a lot younger and single and I went on a fucking frenzy of trying to, on with, you know, some success, some fucking not so. <laughs> but, like, you just, yeah. you're in this... You've got this situation where you can just add all these girls and, like, oh, yeah, and then you just start talking to them. It's fucking piece of piss, you know. <laughs> but Lon... Yeah, I'd love to know what would have happened there. But, obviously, he's in prison... And by the time well, he comes out, he's like, "I fucking hate the internet," you know, and all this. And he doesn't quite get it, as we as we kind of know. He doesn't fully understand what it is. I, I just have one more point to make about the MLM. I mean, that's something that he would fall for, but the problem is, it wouldn't work for him because you need friends uh, to extend your network uh, no. to draw other people in. He knows no yeah, one he, other than you can get camera. that on social media, though. And he would uh, recruit yeah. his family, I, well, his mother, how many, how many and his friends? poor aunt. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know, do you think he'd get a lot of friends on Facebook? Yeah. You do? Yeah, I mean, not, yeah he would have people. Without friends, being caught. Without, without having people. been caught. Huh. If, if he didn't get, yeah, if he didn't get caught, I think he would. Because then also, if think about all the groups that are on Facebook, too. He would get involved in these Yeah, in these country marketing music, groups. singers... Um, mm-hmm. budding pedos, all these different <laughs> groups that he could have joined and, and like just get involved in. Because the thing is with Facebook, I talk about social media endlessly and the impact it has on people, but it gives more on a plat- more on the platform for anything, any kind of discussions. There's people out there that spend their entire days talking to strangers about nothing. It's fucking remarkable. And Lorne would have like, spoke to people about country music, maybe done videos, obviously tried it on with people's nieces. It, it, it basically giving him an endless supply of yes. platform, you know, just pl- ways to get... Because what did Lorne wants, what or Lorne wants, wanted and still does what all people want. He wants a partner and he wants money and he wants happiness. He wants, you know, wants to go about it a very different way. But he will have done... All of those things, he will have got into trouble, you know, all that kind of stuff. He'd have carried on down this dysfunctional path. Because we talked about it earlier, didn't we, Tiffany? Some people seem to have a destiny in life, and it's just how they end up getting to the point of nowhere, isn't it? Yeah, he 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 makes all those moves to get him to nowhere. And it's funny, he's he spends all of his energy to get nothing. He spends all of his money to get nothing. You know, think about all of the products that he has. That that QVC show that he put on with all of those jewels <laughs> that he has, and <clears throat> you know that that um, shipping container in his backyard is just loaded with stuff. Everything is to sell, yeah. but he doesn't sell anything. The trailer also, is a perfect example. All the work he's done on the trailer Mm -hmm. and he was told that no matter what he does to that trailer it's not going to increase the property uh, the value of the property Mm -hmm. so as recently as the casey call he said oh i've been working on this trailer but i'm thinking about tearing it down and building a house all the all the work (laughs) and money he spent on the trailer which i mean a lot of a lot of the materials were found at the dump and it's all really poorly put together so it's it's 
it's not like he did a good job, but he still spent his time and money in there and it's for literally nothing. Yeah, and yeah. he's been saying that for years too <clears throat> about him what, he's gonna tear tearing it down? down. Yeah, really? he's been saying, oh, sure. Okay. Yeah, that conversation has come up, um, you know, here and there because it is such a dumb, it's nothing what, like it is now what it used to be. I mean, because it, it certainly was at least livable. And it wasn't a, it didn't look like it was condemned, but yeah, he's, yeah, but he's I, been saying that he has all these, you know, weird plans of how he's going to build a house and it's not $60 lake. million. Dollars. Yeah. And a lake. It's, it's, this year. it's all just ridiculous. Yeah. This, right. Exactly. Yeah. It's all ridiculous. All the, all the effort that he puts in gets him nothing in return. Right. It's crazy. Mm-hmm. Well, I, I think that, I think if Lauren was left to his own devices, he think his place was a palace. But I think it's been the catfish through the years who've been making fun of his place and saying it's disgusting and everything else. It's finally made him put up the white flag and say, "Yeah, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna burn this place to the ground." Except, well, for I don't, closet. I don't think that he thinks right that closet. <laughs> I, I don't think that he thinks that it's a palace or that he ever did. I think he always knew that it wasn't the best, but he's gonna make it better. Mm-hmm. that's what it is. Everything is projected into the future and how it's going to be, you know, it's going to be um, this, this wonderful place that any woman would love to live in. As long as you don't care about money, you'd love to live Speaking there. Speaking of any woman, you think this new one has been to his trailer? Oh my God. Well, we can't oh, say that as gospel, do we? Yeah, I don't I'm preoccupied with that thought now. Woman. Well, here's here's the thing, though. Just to, just to touch on that for a second, if, if there was somebody, if it was this this person who had a plan, who told Blue Boy that she was going to hold hold his hand in a store, that was that was for a photo to be taken, um, in order to send it out to the community to make everyone think that he had a girlfriend. Now, if that wasn't for the pur- purpose of taking a photo. And somebody was just holding his hand. I mean, I don't think that she would just hold his hand randomly thinking somebody's going to see it. Do you? Uh, I don't know. I mean, to me, I guess it's important to know when they saw this, when they saw him doing that. Because if it's now, you know, that's that's past the blue boy era. You know, I'm just wondering, oh God, I know we don't want to dwell on this too much, but is she young is she older? Is she is she age appropriate? Is she age his age? I mean, I think it's probably remember, he I would, has high standards. He has high standards. I would have to suspect that it's probably the same person, because Lauren Lauren's been living there for years. He's he's never met anybody. He can't really meet anybody. Where would he meet this person? <clears throat> you know, so Walmart. it would have to be somebody. No, yeah, he but they tried have at Walmart. Flags he up at Walmart. Out. <laughs> yeah, yes, yeah, people people uh that's so yeah. funny that isn't it that tells its own story the only place long can conceivably meet someone is lot walmart you know a lot of people there's a lot of footfall there's people that weren't there and there's fucking photos up in there banning him it's like if this person comes press this button it's like dude you fuck that one up yeah. uh, i, that did, I didn't know you... nikki i didn't know he met nikki at walmart i didn't know that's where he met her <laughs> Until I saw some uh, something, I read something where he he would take her from he would again his mo was to drive them home from Walmart or take her to Walmart. This, so he must have done the same shit. Yeah, he did to the seventeen year old. Uh, offered her a job, except for with Nikki ball, offer ten thousand dollars. <laughs> You're right. Walmart is his uh, pickup uh, location. Yeah, I didn't know that Nikki. Nikki wasn't at Walmart. I thought he said she worked at Walmart. Yeah. Um, yeah, she worked at Walmart. Maybe. I could only but assume thought, that would matter. I thought she worked at a gas station. And he, no, he that's a that different girl. There's yeah, so many different people. Be. Yeah. Because he was talking to Casey, and yeah, I think he said, because Casey was confronted him and said something about him showing up at Nikki's work. And Lauren said, yeah, I showed up at her work to pick her up because she worked right. at Walmart. I was around right. to and from. That's where I heard it. Mm-hmm. I thought the there, was a, there was a Chinese restaurant, too, and he got in trouble for going there. 
<laughs> There's so many stories. I don't know what to say. <laughs> I know he said he called her work and told them to tell her that she needed to get all his all her shit out or he was gonna throw it outside or something. Do you guys remember that part of the story? No, because she didn't she didn't live there, did she? Oh, that's wonderful if you said that. Oh my god. He's the last person who wants somebody to leave him. No, she didn't live with him, but uh, oh, now I can't remember. But I, I have that stuck in my head that he said that, that he called her work and said she needed to come get her stuff or he was going to burn it or something. And then he said, I wasn't really going to burn it, but I wanted her to know I was pissed off. <laughs> so if anybody knows what I'm talking about, somebody back me up. In the I don't. <laughs> yeah, chat. You guys, Maybe I've made it up. <laughs> if, if TCAP never happened, do you think Lauren would eventually end up on the sexual offender registry anyway. Well, that is something I wanted to talk about because Floppy and Fun Bogan, I think it is, in the chat said Lorne would have ended up in the same place with the real victim. I think think something we've got to touch upon that because it's getting a little dark because I don't like going and taking my mind down this route, but, you know, shit like this happens. And Lorne, we know just from the chat log alone, forget everything else, that this guy would have stopped at nothing. And, um, <clears throat> you know, zero concern for anything with regard... Well, you don't need me to tell you. But, yeah, I think it's... If we look at the Molly situation, I don't think they actually did anything from what he said. I don't believe so. Uh, I don't actually believe that um, he's actually had sex Whoa, whoa, whoa. With... What situation? I'm sorry. What situation? Denise? Sorry? What's no, Molly. No, with Molly. Molly. Oh, Molly. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. I don't I believe he did. No, it's all right, dude. I, d- I don't think he did anything with her. From, you know, we, the thing is, the problem with these, this intelligence is it's not very well rated because the only thing that we've got is Lorne's word. Now, deciphering what is true from Lorne is difficult because he de- half of the time he believes his own shit. So it's very difficult. But you can make an educated guess. You can use... You can sort of decipher patterns in the way he speaks and, and try and pick out the the reality of it. So I think that nothing happened between him and Molly, and I think that isn't through his That's own choice. No, That's but I mean true. physically, he, he, physically. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, um, okay. but I do believe that uh, there's a real chance that if he'd have carried on um, and hadn't got caught, there would have been a real scenario because people like... Molly, I don't like saying her name that often, but you know, people know she has it anyway, so it's, it's, I don't suppose it's a problem. But um, it, it's not easy to say this, but girls like that who are from broken backgrounds uh, can be very, very desperate for some form of positive attention or what they think is positive attention. All somebody like Lauren has to do is tell them a few things, tell them they're beautiful, tell them that they love them and they've got them. And it's 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 not easy to think about but that's the reality of it, isn't it? Yeah, but, uh, here's the thing. Um, Lawrence got so many criminal tendencies that he would have. I think the question is, would he have gotten on the RSL? I think it would have. I think it would. He could have. Like when you say that, you know, he didn't physically do anything with Molly. That's true. But what he did do is expose himself. And I think he would have been caught doing something like that. Um, and then that would have put him on the registry, unless he was caught in another sting, which would have been awesome. But, you know, he's the kind of guy that would be. But I think with his exhibitionist issues, that he would have eventually been caught doing something stupid like that. In addition to that, I think uh, Codfisher brought this up. Uh, unrelated to the sex offender registry, I think he would have been brought down with on financial crimes as well. I think he would have possibly been been called to task on the Betty situation if he didn't flee to Nashville, right? Uh, and he certainly would have tried to do with other people. So I don't think he'd be in much better position. I think he would still be on the RSO too. Well, speaking of Molly, there, there was also the Melissa situation, which I think we can take with a big grain of salt. It, it doesn't make sense. But he, because he said she randomly showed up at his house he hadn't given her his address she looked him up found his address this young girl he said she was 18 at the time but i'm 
he wouldn't be mm -hmm. honest about that anyway. So we can throw that number out. She, you know, who knows how old she was. But what young girl is going to go in the telephone book and look up a grown man and just show up at his house randomly? I think he invited her over. And I mean, who knows? Who knows what happened? He. I think he tried to get her drunk. I, I think I think he offered them alcohol and the, the friend who was pregnant refused it uh, and told her why I, I'm pregnant. That's how he found her. She was pregnant. I think he offered them them uh, liquor. When did theory. he? When did he explain these uh, details? Was it to With you, Tiffany? Tiffany? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. He told Tiffany. I mean, if they're drinking, aren't you going to offer? You know, he's, of course he's going to he's going to try to apply them an alcohol. I'm sure. Otherwise, yeah. unless the woman was really showing, I mean, you know, I guess he could he could figure out she's pregnant. But I think he was told she was pregnant. That's why she turned on the the booze. That's my guess. I don't think these girls would just show up uninvited without. Oh, even, you're going back there. Without even being sure that he lived there. I mean, people's addresses can change. You know what I mean? I, I just feel like it's so unlikely. Um, and he told Tiffany that, oh, no, I didn't even know she was coming. She just showed up to, to make himself look less guilty. And not admit that he it fits his lies. Some of his lies yeah. are people come to see him or people he's pushing people away. He didn't invite her. She invited herself. That's his he's so desirable. People are gonna barge in on him. He wishes. I think um, you're right. I think you set it up. Tiffany, what do you think? You heard Lorne talking about Melissa and linking that to whether he I mean this is obviously I'm sorry to keep reiterating this, but this is just, we're just theorising. It's just what are within the realms of possibility. Do we think Lorne, there's a good chance Lorne could have had a real victim had he not been caught? A hundred percent, yeah. Because he tried. And just like I was saying before, he throws his net out and he's eventually going to get one. And do you believe that he had, I mean, I do, because of what I was saying about girls from you know disadvantaged backgrounds um do you think lawn because we see lawn as being this despicable it's like you said amanda james everything repulsive to a woman would he have been able to get somebody because even it seems that even molly kept a distance well it, it, it is hard to say just because we don't know her and we don't know their actual conversation i think it's it's probably close to what we saw with Kayla. Um, he was definitely inappropriate. We know that he exposed himself. He asked her to do the same. Um, they were talking about boyfriend and girlfriend bullshit. Um, and, you know, he, he talked to her when, when he was drunk and was crying or, you know, wanting to make sure that she loved him, so they stayed up all night, and she stayed up all night on the phone. I mean, it would have been very much the same. And so I think that he he would have acted the same way that we see um, him acting with everyone else, trying to claim ownership right away, making sure that she also wants to be with him and she's going to be 100% faithful to him at all times. All of that stuff is going to um, is going to keep happening. And he just would have probably honed in his skill as far as uh, making sure that he's not going to get caught. So I think eventually he would have, because you do hear stories about girls who get hurt, unfortunately, in the news um, for going to meet somebody on the internet and it's an older guy and, you know, something bad ends up happening. Well, yeah. But then there's also, there's also the times when, you know, the worst doesn't end up happening as far as them never being seen again or whatever. Um, you know, there's there's a million circumstances of that too. You know, so I think he, he would have had a real victim at some point because that's what he was going for. And do you know when you said to Lon, when that famous call where you were like, if you don't watch it, it's going to happen again. And he goes, it's not going to happen again. I know how to say no now. And it's like, uh, the rage is filling me within, the rage is <laughs> building within me, just remembering yeah. 
that. But what did you mean by that that would have been another one? Because surely at that point, after everything lorne has been through, it's inconceivable to, to, to think that it would... Like, even when you said that, I was like, I think you've got that wrong there. There's no way even Lon's that dumb. Oh, yes, he is. Yeah, I totally disagree. Yeah. He, if he had the opportunity and didn't think that he was going to get caught, I think he would go well, for it. Well, that's why I thought it was even far-fetched for him. Of course, I'm not saying... If he knew 100% that he would get away with it, absolutely no doubt. Absolutely no doubt. And I think the Rhoda situation proves that. Um, but, it, you know, because of how he's being monitored and, uh, you know, the, the, the sort of fear of him going back inside, I would have thought you know but this is Loma talking about isn't it yeah I I think that it it makes sense um to imagine you know because you're when you're trying to apply logic to something that doesn't have any which is Lauren's behavior um it it seems inconceivable that he would risk you know the things but if but he would if he had I mean imagine him uh, for example, this alleged person that he's close to in a store. What if she had somebody in her life who was either a daughter or a niece or somebody that he had access to? And they were, you know, perhaps showing a little interest or they were receptive to anything that he was he was giving them as far as attention, then then he would do it. He would just need to be really careful because remember, um, you know, we've heard these types of conversations, the ones that he believes that no one else is hearing. So when he's talking to Rhoda um, and he's he's saying, you know, make sure mommy is is sleeping or in the shower or something. Um, and and also with with Kayla, when he says we have to be really careful about doing this. You know, the the getting caught is the only thing that's stopping him. So if he thinks that he can get away with it if he can do everything in his power to not have that happen then he's going to do it and you can also look at another example with his drinking he's been told a, for a long time that he wasn't supposed to be drinking at all and so if you think back to some of the documents um when he was getting into trouble for that after that call with Ramona when the cops showed up alcohol was taken off the table for him and when he was given a breathalyzer, you would think a reasonable person wouldn't drink at all because you're going to get in trouble. You can see it. They tell you, you can go back to jail. You can have your probation revoked. Do not drink anything. So they give him a breathalyzer. So what does he do? He tries to think of a way to go around that so that he can get away with still drinking, but also making sure that they don't know about it. And then he gets busted because there was that one incident where he said, oh, I didn't get the text for me to take the test. And Stacy called him the next day and then he had to take it and he ended up failing. But he, he didn't, he thought in his head, oh, I could just say I didn't get it. I haven't used that excuse yet. So that one seems reasonable, right? I was sleeping. But he was, in fact, he was wasted. So he ended up failing it the next day. So if he can go around all of the all of the things that he's worried about as far as getting caught, somebody seeing him, somebody reading text messages, any of that, he's just he, that's what he's going to do. That's where all of his energy is going to go, because on the other side of that is what he wants. If that's a young girl who's going to give him attention, if it's alcohol, whatever, he's, he's going to be focusing on that. He even showed up as class drunk. Right. Like, well, he was drinking fruit juice. Right. Fruit juice. <laughs> That's why he smelled like alcohol. But if some, if he hooked up with a woman who had a daughter, you can guarantee the next morning he'd be brushing that daughter's hair. It's oh, a yeah. really disturbing yeah. thought, that, isn't it? Like it the is. scenarios it's very that, that, you know, Long could have been in. But these type, I think it's worth mentioning that these type of scenarios happen all the time in real life. People like Lorna everywhere, and there's, you know, it's it, we can't close our eyes to it. 
you know, people, it's, it's, there's a lot of fucking sick people out there in case, you, you know, you didn't need me to tell you that, but yeah, Lorne would have 100% been, pretend, I mean, the thing is, somebody put here, if Lorne had intelligence, he'd be very, very dangerous, so he's limited as to what he can actually achieve, this is probably as far as he could go, go in life, the level of fame that he's got, but it's all negative, it's like infamy, this is as far as he could go. And you know what? The more we talk about it, I actually think Long getting caught is the best thing that could have ever happened to him. He's actually lad. I think he's actually had a better life than he would have done had he not got caught. Uh, I don't know. I mean, it's better for everyone else. It's better for, for everyone for him to have the restrictions that he does and to be inconvenienced by probation following him. And he's basically grounded, you know, from a lot of things. He can't even go on the internet. But that's good How for his, but, but he's not got the intelligence to navigate it. He's not got the intelligence to navigate the real dating world, the real job market. He's fucking stupid. Well, he, that's <laughs> yeah. why, that, that, that's why I would tend to agree with you that it's better for him, him thinking that he got caught in the RSO because all of these failures in his life, he could attribute to that. He can't get a woman. He can't get a decent job. He can say, you know, I'm I'm handicapped by this thing. So he has ready-made excuses. And Lauren's the kind of guy who looks for shit like that. Yeah, but that well, doesn't a... objectively make his life better. It makes, well, it it makes better it better in for his him. Life. No, I, I didn't mean objectively. I said in, from his standpoint. You right. Know, he, can, Financially... he can use that as an excuse for not for not succeeding in life. You know, financially, gotta... it's probably better because probation makes sure that he keeps a job. But also, like you were saying earlier, um, he would have been catfished a million times. And those catfish would probably have been motivated by money. So I, he'd probably be even deeper in debt than he is now if he hadn't been caught. He would and have also, been 100 more times. Think about all the years he spent talking to the catfishes and this is something we've touched upon before it, it kind of cropped up when we talked about the, the the whether the catfishing was right you know the rights and wrongs of it and it, it you know a big topic of that was has the catfishing been a positive experience for long obviously you would think on the surface of it how ridiculous that is somebody's being fucked with psychologically manipulated but long it's 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 like been playing a, a pointless computer game for Lorne all this time. It's like it's kept him occupied. It's kept him thinking he had company, and to some degree he has had company. Um, and it's been going on for years. So what would have been the alternative for him? You know, what would he have? He just carried on getting, like you said, him on and James getting into more debt. You know, potentially getting you know in deeper trouble with various bizarre scams. The possibilities are endless. Yeah, I think he he would have been going to bars as well, and um, he, he would have been meeting people. Drunk like, driving, actually. Well, that's the other yeah. thing too. I mean, certainly yeah. his his drunk driving um, would have would have definitely been happening. Yeah. And we kind of like. Um, was talking about Lon's intelligence or lack of. Like, this is something I w wanted to mention because it goes hand in hand with what we're talking about. Where would his life be? Because you need... Intelligence isn't the only thing that would make a successful life. You need a lot of other virtues that go along with it. But it's very important. And um, Lon doesn't seem to have any. So, like, how... I just kind of wondering how stupid he actually is. He, you know, how dumb is he really? Like it, it kind of. I think this is the thing that keeps us interested: is we cannot grasp how someone can be so dumb. It, it all the crazy scenarios is in the not being able to understand the catfish, and he can't grasp it. He doesn't understand the internet. He doesn't understand finances. And you know what? I almost feel as I'm saying this, I don't feel good about saying this about another person because it's really mean it's like we don't seem to care where Lon's concerned I mean he's not fucking listening so it doesn't really matter but it's still not nice talking about somebody in this way it's like 
there's people out there that are infinitely more intelligent than me. I was reading a book about, I downloaded a book on my Kindle, right, and the Kindle Unlimited about quantum physics, just because I was interested in it, this was a while ago, and I couldn't even get past the first page, it fucking blew my mind, like, no, I'm not going to be able to get my head around this, so I just deleted it. So, it's not fun to fucking just call people dumb, but he's dumb. <laughs> so, like, what, um, I suppose what I'm asking is, how stupid is he, and why is he so stupid? I First of all, I, I hope he is listening, number one. Uh, number two, <laughs> um, I don't think he has the ability to learn. I really don't. I, I think he's got too much bias to learn anything. I think he thinks he knows it all and it's hard for him to, and he has very selective memories, selective hearing, all that stuff. And also a, another way of looking at his intelligence level, you know, Einstein said this, and I think I said this before, the measure of intelligence is not knowledge. The measure of intelligence is imagination how much creativity you have. And look at his Taken Abroad book. Look at his uh, The Creature book. That that really shows me his lack of intelligence there, lack of creativity, you know, right there. Anybody could memorize something and spout out knowledge, but he's got no ability to create anything in his mind. NWA Skeptic has just put it very well uh, in a nice couple of sentences. He's too stupid to know he's stupid and too arrogant to learn better. Yeah, he thinks everyone else is stupid. Everyone else needs to leave him alone, get off his balls. They shouldn't do the things that they did to him. They shouldn't have said the things that they did to him. Everyone is just... You know, everyone's no one else looks at themselves. They only look at him. Right. For everything wrong that that he does. Nobody wants to be wrong. Right. Nobody hates being like, yeah, who likes being wrong? Right. Oh, sure. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, but he he takes it to to an incredible degree. The um, world like doesn't owe you anything. The world doesn't <laughs> owe you do. anything. Of what course the fuck is do. that? <laughs> you know? Yeah, no, I it's 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 amazing. Um, you know, when you think about the the story of Lorne and as much of it that we know, it's just a it's like a a textbook of what not to do. It really is. If you look at the way that his behavior is, if the way that he envisions relationships and um, that can be romantic or friendships or with his family. Um, you know, it's it's all what you shouldn't do, how you shouldn't treat people, um, you know, the expectations that you should have, you know, because if we just look at what are his expectations for a girlfriend? Well, it's somebody who's obsessed with him. It's somebody mm. who puts him first 100% of the time, always thinks mm. about Lauren with everything that they do. What is Lauren going to think? Is he going to like this? You know, th those are the most important things. But yeah, it's, it's, I don't know. I, I shake my head a lot, <laughs> you know, thinking but, about Lauren and, and all that. But that's, that's a great thing to say about how he, he, it is a textbook how not to live it. it was like me uh amanda james and adam did a funny video the other week about um lon's dating lessons just his mm. dating like as you said about relationships he is the classic any guy out there that's struggling do the opposite of what lon does and you won't fail like every attitude yeah. that he takes everything that he says that jeffrey call it's fucking <laughs> hilarious where he goes uh i don't care if we've been fighting i i want to fucking marry you will you marry me <laughs> no well you better be better saying, be saying fucking yes, soon. yes soon. Like, <laughs> not only is he saying like he's so aggressive he uses the word fucking twice when proposing and then demands yeah. that that person change oh, their not, mind they're not allowed to have free will a, he's got a better proposal than that you want to be my wife or a disgusting piece of shit is his best proposal ever. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, I've not but, heard that. <laughs> but the thing is, we, we talk about the, uh, Lauren uh, is the template to, uh, to unfollow, you know, to, you know, just do the opposite. When this thing, when this thing was originally, you know, hailed as a church of cod kind of thing. And I, I said this before, the deity we had was Lauren, right? That's our God, right? 
but he's a different kind. It's a different kind of religion because this kind of God is the kind of guy you didn't want to be part it's of. It's an anti religion almost, with, isn't it? Yeah, it's like do everything this guy doesn't do. I mean, and you'll be a good person rather than live up to these lofty standards of these other gods and messiahs and other religions where people, you know, feel bad about themselves. Join our religion and just do the opposite of our God, you know, and and you'll uh, you'll be praised. But anyway, that's the way I look at it. Just do the opposite. He's the opposite in everything. Uh, morality, intelligence, everything. Work ethic. This as is well. where all the humor comes from, isn't it? It's like yeah. that. Mar- I'd not heard that marriage proposal, Shin. That is so funny. But like, it, it's it's. It, I think <laughs> what was it he said in the Blue Boy call recently? Where um, like <laughs> where the Casey goes. Don't be sad about what this pedophile says. <laughs> he says, "Don't be." Uh, he says, uh, "Don't uh, you think that uncensor say stupid shit like that?" She calls me a pedophile herself. <laughs> <laughs> I was running. I was out. This is no word of a lie, right? I had it on my phone, so I had my earbuds in. I was going for a run, right? And it was pissing. I don't know what the weather's got to do with it. But at that point when I heard it, I was in the road. It was like rush hour, and I fell on the fucking pavement in the rain just because it was so funny, and the earbud fell out of my ear. I had to, like, pick it up. Most People must have thought I was insane. But I was like, it was such, so funny because I wasn't expecting him to say, oh, you think that upset her? She doesn't believe any of that. But he's like, no, she calls me that herself. Like, what? (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, that's not going to bother her. (laughs) (laughs) But you know what? You know, it's interesting to bring it back to Lorne learning and his ability to learn lessons. Wasn't it in the the report that he was asked perhaps about his sex offender treatment class? Like, what did you learn? And he couldn't say anything. Right. And uh, 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 yeah. in addition to the fact that he hasn't been in it for two years. R- yeah. Sure. Yeah. He lied about it. He lied about his 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 uh, his participation in it. Oh, definitely. <laughs> Where do you go yeah. with a guy like that? Why would he expect a great report? I don't get it. Because yeah, he's he not a threat to society. He couldn't name one thing. And then when Casey pushed him, he came up with, he learned after all those years in rape class that children are precious, <laughs> which right. he already knew. Uh-huh. He told Kayla every day she was That's precious. That's the reason like, why he was in that class, because he thought they were precious. Yeah, they're <laughs> precious it, it, and it, vulnerable. Well, that's yes, right. It, uh he should have used that twenty five hundred dollars and just donated it to St. Jude's. Well, they don't accept his checks. <laughs> yeah, they send it back. Yeah, he was ashamed of that letter that never existed. <laughs> he creates well, was, things that he's ashamed actually, of. He actually I, creates things that he's ashamed about himself. I was for. actually wondering if he was sent a letter. Not by them, legitimately. Oh, okay. You by a troll, yeah. That's yeah. Great. That would be great. I can see Ember doing that. <laughs> we don't watch your money. <laughs> yeah. We don't watch your money. We looked you up and uh, we don't watch your money. <laughs> yeah, they do background checks on all the checks names. Sure. <laughs> yeah. Mr. Penis protects children. With the whole He's loved kids, story, even when he was a kid. Yeah. He loved kids. Isn't that weird? Mm-hmm. Just to say, I love kids, even when I was a kid. Yeah, he's trying to establish that he's always had this protection and, uh, you know, affection for kids. Not in that way, but, you know. Who was he talking to that time when he was saying, I just love the idea of being kids and playing hide and seek and pushing them on the swings? It's like, what are you going on about, dude? Like, does anybody remember what I'm talking about? I've never heard that. Uh... Come on. He actually said that. He was like, well, he was, was saying this something really about lame... getting on the ground, getting on the floor, and playing horse. Oh, horse! That stuff, was it. Right? Yeah, that yeah, was yeah, it. Yeah. What was that? Because it was really weird. I don't know. You just want to roll around with kids on the floor. What's so weird about that, man? <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I yeah. yeah, I remember that. Or or the idea that he thought he can adopt. 
You know? Yeah, that's ridiculous that he could foster <laughs> kids. Are you serious? That's a probate judge gaveling, you know, an acceptance acceptance of his uh, his <sighs> adoption petition. Yes, Mr. Armstrong, you are a registered sex offender, and this child is young and vulnerable and needs special care. We're going to put him in your hands. Click. Right, right. They're taken out of their home for, you know, a dangerous situation and put them into another Right, one. right. This child's been through so much trauma. <laughs> right. Uh, it is so strange how he thinks he at home. should be rewarded for bad behavior. It's like when he went to court. And he was going back to jail for violating his probation. And he asked for um, his lifetime supervision to be 10 years changed yeah. to 10 years. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder where he picked 10 years because it, pro- it would have passed already. Right. Yeah. You, you, know, what, you know what uh, gives me kind of a retroactive terror in remembering that Lauren's major job in high school was babysitting kids. Right. You know, I mean, it, it, he, he's even attracted to him in that, in that way. You know, uh, I don't know. We've got some uh, lawn purists in the chat, and they said that Lauren said that about letting kids take a piggyback ride, uh, or sorry, horseback ride or whatever, while he was talking to Debbie about his predator behavior. Um, um, right. <laughs> I don't know. I, I I zoned out a lot. <laughs> don't know why. Flop, <laughs> yeah. Flopping and fun bogan. He's uh, monitoring his nieces in the shower. I I think I I said this in a few chats. I think I told you Amanda once. Um, I think his issue with his nieces was not necessarily. Of course, I think he snuck peeks now and then, but I think it was them catching him exposed. I think that was the issue. And they just kept it yeah. quiet for a while and they kept it to themselves. And then suddenly he's on TCAP and their relationship is destroyed at that point. Because he was still talking to them when he was talking to Kayla, but they were just getting off real quick. It was no falling out, so to speak. Oh, yeah, Since true. the TCAP, there was a falling out and they probably spoke about that afterwards. So I know you didn't want to discuss that, Andrew. Sorry. No, it's fine. I, I, it's a really interesting topic. It's, um, but I think that that kind of situ- that could deserve its own stream. Maybe it's that um, significant. I think really, uh, yeah. It's just. I, I think it's just we, we just don't know, do we? You know. No. That's the, the we 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 have to take as I suppose is the same for all of this. Really, we, we're going off intelligence which is gathered from law and very little else we have some documentation uh, but that doesn't recount encounters or anything um and that was you know the um the document we just went over the other week the site report it was most of it was taken from you know lawn's mouth it was all gathered i mean they made their own assessment and uh, I suppose that's the fun of it, really. There's a lot of questions we'll never know the answers to, and that's why we talk about them. You know, it, it is fun. And that's I think why I think some people take the, the virgin thing a bit too seriously. It's like, number one, who gives a fuck? And we're never going to know anyway. You know, it's just a bit of fun. Um, but, yeah, I think um, I think Lon's lack of intelligence is, is were... I think it's it's the cornerstone of the whole church of cod isn't it really you know it's 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 littered throughout the chat log the the the, yeah. the scenarios that he gets himself into in these catfishing escapades is it's just the stuff of that's what i like about this lawn sort of interest of mine because obviously I have to justify to people close to me on a regular basis why I'm the fuck am I doing this, and to myself. But it's really entertaining. Because as well as the humour, there's nowhere else, there's nothing else like this. There's nobody else that's got himself into the situation that he has. There's nobody that's an, that's got the infinite supply of one-liners that this guy's got. He must have the world record no. for the funniest one-liners. He's just got to. <laughs> I agree. His timing is excellent too. <laughs> even when he's not saying anything, but he's just making a noise. And you know he's listening. That's what's even funnier sometimes when he's overhearing yeah. a conversation that's meant to be heard. It's so funny. 
because you know it's going through his rat trap brain. <laughs> yes, he's listening <laughs> to it. What you said then, Tiffany, about it, he's not saying it if he's just making a noise. Do you mean when, uh, like, when Ramona says, so what patterns, Lorne? He's going, uh, 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 oh, no. <laughs> like, that. yeah. he's, that's not even yeah. a word. <laughs> right, exactly. Or when he's he's getting ready to talk, but he just kind of goes, mm-hmm. <laughs> you just hear you just hear him like squeaking. <laughs> it's funny. Yeah. So crazy. Yeah. It's uh I think I think that's the, the draw of it all, really. Cause, Cause it's like why this no, in fact I'm not gonna ask that question. I'm gonna write it in my little notes, just like Shin's got his notepad. Do you know I was thinking about your notes about lawn streams and topics, Shin, right? In mm-hmm. a few hundred years, those are going to be turned into books like Marcus Aurelius's Meditations. Oh, you know, how, so like cool. it. Do you know what? Like he didn't even write that book. That's just stuff taken from things he wrote. It's like, kind of like oh, an unauthorized book. Yeah, just think. Oh, like people great. are going to be studying this for fucking thousands of years, man. And my notes. Oh yes, yes. Yeah, <laughs> have I should have thought of that. You... Have you still got your notes from court? No, no. You know what I did is though I uh, I scanned them and I sent them to someone so I could check through my email. <laughs> like, what do you think? I still have the notebook. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow! I think you want to hold on to that. Yeah, I should have put it and scrolled it up too. You know, like a scroll. Yeah, because that notebook was in the same room as Lauren. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <sighs> Yeah. So, so basically, so, his life wouldn't be any better, I don't think. If he... <laughs> so, because they're an to come to that conclusion. <laughs> I know. In summary, he's still the same shithead. Well, I it, think it, it could be worse. Yeah, I think I think that it could be a lot worse. I genuinely believe the um, sting has saved him from a, a greater tragedy. I really believe that. Um, obviously, no way of knowing. I just think that you know he was inside for five years. So, what can he actually do there? His, his movements and his actions are so limited now. And all he would have yep. done is got himself in more trouble, into more debt. Yep. It, it, it's really has saved him. And it's given us an endless amount of entertainment. So everybody's a winner. Even... Uh, Even Lord. Lord. Well, kind of, you know. Um, yeah. You if you were going to take a bet, Amanda James, where would you say Lorne would have ended up? Um, well, I think he would have ended up in prison eventually, either for actually, you know, going through with it and hurting a kid or for drunk driving. I think that would have been really likely. Yeah, definitely. Or larceny. You know, ripping off people. Yeah, Yeah, that certainly wouldn't have stopped. Yeah. He would have made his way back to Maine eventually because that seems to be what happens and um, he never quite makes it no matter where Close he goes Pennsylvania. <laughs> yeah yeah exactly um yeah but you, you know it's funny when you talk about the catfishing or just outside of this if he had never gotten caught what his experience would have been on the internet the catfishing would have been such a huge part of his life well i mean think about mm-hmm. vanessa and lee parker she's supposed to go up there seven times she had a tiger for a pet. <laughs> um, she had a tiger for a pet, but as the Lee Parker did. Oh, so, the, fake, I, the I never one he never that. met, he never saw I the heard, tiger. Okay. I heard you mention that to him. Yeah. Oh, about the tiger? <coughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I remember hearing it somewhere. Um, that could have just been something fake that was said, but I like it. So I'll stick with it. <laughs> But I think, um, yeah, I mean, I think it just would have been, it would have been a long line of, of the same type, type of relationship for him. Definitely. Romance scammers would have been in there. Um, you know, as far as how much they would have gotten, not really sure. You know, they, there just would have been a string of them. And then of course, just, just like other women, like this Amanda James person, um, you know, I would love to talk to her, definitely. Um, but I think 
you know, certainly, I mean, how funny is it that, that she said that her messenger didn't work, so they had to email. <laughs> um, you know, that's so silly. The, the other thing that uh, is kind of strange and, 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 and really difficult for Lauren to understand his, his place in the universe is he doesn't appreciate how old he is and how old he's getting. Mm -hmm. You know, uh -huh. he thinks that he thinks that he could start a new life. And he's in the, in the home stretch towards sixty right now. As an older guy, I understand that, but but him, he thinks he could he can have a baby at this age, yeah. and even from down, you know, be playing catch with a kid when he's eighty. He has no concept of what his limitations are and time, how much time he has left. No, so he he's doesn't. Going to be in the la la world. I remember that conversation where he's talking about how. Miranda Lambert could have happened if he didn't mess up. Yeah, yeah, it's true though. He was serious about that. It's true. <laughs> you think it's true too? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's it, he believes that. He believes that he because he wants to believe it. But it is really funny the the delusional stuff, you know, about getting married, having a kid, marrying somebody who's young enough to have a yeah. kid. Yeah. Um, you know, and being able to provide for that, you know, Jamie was supposed to move up there and he was going to take care of her. You right. can't really want anything, but he'll, he'll take care of it for you. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but you know, and, and also these delusions of these homes, not, not only just the lake house, um, but also the one that he's expecting to build on his property. With what exactly? You're not a builder. You don't know. You're not the type of person who could put in the time and the patience to build something like that. You know, if a contractor ever wanted to hire him, I mean, somebody wanted to hire him as a contractor, they should always go to his house and see where he lives. You know, that old rule you check out <laughs> where the contractor lives? Sure. Yeah. You um, know, even for the yeah. smallest jobs, I'd want to see where this guy lives. I want to see yeah, what kind of, I think, what his I house think that, looks like. I think that there's, I think that there's probably a lot of people um, who know about Lauren now, um, because even uh, Betty was talking about this too, that she had mentioned who was doing the work at her house. They were like, oh Jesus, <laughs> better watch those right. guys, you know. Keep an eye on him, yeah. Keep an eye, yeah, because he had been doing it before. Um, so I think he he would definitely be in the same in the same boat as far as his reputation would be concerned. Yeah, I he think... also might not have he might not have end up with that trailer because I think he was in a position where his family had to put him somewhere, and um, he couldn't live with his mother because he had a felony record and she's under Section Eight, and his uncle Rich or whoever it was died just in time. If he if he could live anywhere he wanted, he could still live with his mother. Roy would have had just as much of a chance maybe to get that place, so he might not have end up with his land if he wasn't arrested. And they had uh, in, in a situation where they had nowhere else to put them. Well, he w he was living in other properties before. Oh, wait a second. Yeah, he was doing some type of a rent to own situation in that house that he said he put sixty thousand dollars in. Never happened, but you know right, he was in right. that situation. Well, you know how we count the sixty thousand, right? Yeah, definitely. He inflates his labor, and he says that's part of the labor. cost. Yes. Right. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. I think uh, I think we're going to start wrapping it up. We've uh, begun a usual amount of time. Um, <clears throat> well, let me just say before in conclusion, I'm ass over tea kettle all uh, for all you guys. Just so you know. Huh? Ah, that's really nice. Yeah, I'm ass over, ass over tea kettle. I want to somehow squeeze that into the stream for all of us. He's yeah. That's very He's sweet. squeaking away over there for everybody. <laughs> um, uh, so I don't know what we're going to do next, whether we're going to do something next week, probably if everybody's available. Um, but uh, yeah, thanks everybody for coming by. There's been a lot of people in the chat. People just can't get enough of us talking about lawn. And... Have, you, have you guys like... Uh, think it's quite impressive how much we can talk about with this guy. Just a regular guy 
not that much. Tall. He's not a regular guy, is he? But you get the point. He's nothing special, but yet. It's like what you said earlier, Tiffany, about all these crazy stories. It's like, Jesus, where do they end? You know, the crazy schemes, the, the, the sort of stories about Jenny from Walmart and all these little innuendos. It's like, it never ends. Like, it's just so bizarre. Did you listen to that call, Andrew? <clears throat> yeah. Uh, the uh, fake date one. Yeah, yeah. I, from yeah. yeah, I couldn't <laughs> listen to it all because, like, it, even, even in his own lies, his girlfriends don't give him the phone it numbers. Was funny. What was funny? I like how <laughs> Ember and Ramona kept saying, "Let's get it. Let's get her on three way." And he's coming up with all these excuses about why that's not possible. Is that I can't yeah. do that? My phone won't allow it. And I'm like, no, you can. If you ring, if you ring Tony up, it's like it, it's like a comedy sketch. It's like something from some yeah. kind of comedy. Where someone's getting caught out, but it, it, it's it's so great. It, it, um, <laughs> yeah, but I couldn't listen for too long. Like, um, yeah, it just grates at me for a little bit sometimes. But um, yeah, it was very very funny. Like, there's just there's so much stuff. Like, how much stuff is there on Raptor Bacon's channel? There's hundreds and hundreds well, that, of hours. Yeah. When you ask me for suggested topics, and you say to me, and I, I'm surprised you keep saying this. I don't think that's enough to run a whole show on. Are you kidding me? It doesn't take much for <laughs> we take one line in a chat log and we run with it. I right? know, but that's different though because you've got you've got material there in front of you that that you know you, you could just keep going and we could just discuss one line. It's like you say, Jim. We could go right back to the beginning of that document and start yeah, again because if- we know so much more, and you can always talk about because people talk about the same same tv shows over and over again or whatever and make a very good career out of it on youtube so why is this any different and, and one of our criteria for topics is what do you think is going to piss amanda off the most no that's yours <laughs> you always bring that up in she's like yeah, what's going to make that. amanda james amanda, hate lawn even more trigger her. what's going to trigger her sorry amanda no it's okay it's easy to do yeah it's a good one uh right okay guys uh we'll wrap it up thank you very much uh for your insightful brilliant comments as well it, it really helps if you yeah. uh add to the sort of um well that's the whole point of doing these you know and they can we can sort of get um see the interactions and the questions that people have and um the insight it's great um so yeah probably probably be back next week um don't know what we'll be doing but i'm sure we'll think of something shin will just have to get his little notebook out and we'll be banging with a load more topics so uh yeah guys you just love my notebook man i do i i kind of i I kind of want it as like to put you know in my little trophy cabinet next to me uh karaoke trophies you know um Right, okay, so yeah, we'll be back soon, guys.